And hello, we're back. Let me do a little house cleaning here by myself. Uh, let's see. Um, I want to be able to monitor. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Hope my uh, Wi Fi is not giving me any problems. And okay, so let me refresh this. It's got to be my channel. Hmm. Okay. Live control room, maybe. Uh, am I streaming? I should be. Yes, okay, so let's go to this live. And uh, got that muted. Let's do a quick um, Twitter share. All right. That might be the best. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. As you can see, um, just have the blacks really left to fill in. Put the signature down there and... Uh, Call this one done. Thanks for those of you who have joined again to participate, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's going to be kind of simple, or at least for me, but um, you know, I've been told that watching people ink and work is relaxing, so it's about lunchtime if you're. Uh, Getting ready to go to lunch, grab a bite to eat like I will after I finish this up, then I hope you enjoy it. And as you can see right now, I'm working in the small areas with this pit uh, brush pen, the one that is a little softer, and we'll begin to... Uh, the nib will begin to flatten out quite a bit, filling in blacks. So I want to get all this um, more detailed black stuff done before it, uh, by my own fault, By the time I am ready to use it in a, a larger, so to speak, uh, bigger areas. And after this, I have um, I have commercial work uh, that I need to get on, and due to the nature of that, I can't stream it because it can't be shared as of yet. And depending, I don't know if we ever. 
come to it. Well, yeah, we did. We, we came to an agreement that I could use it as portfolio pieces upon completion. So eventually, um, depending on where that project goes, I will either be able to show it or it might just get shelved. Who knows? Um, and there's one thing about working in comics. The work needs to be published, so therefore, when you do it, um, it's printed. Other commercial stuff um, that I've done, such as the licensing work for DC and for other companies, such as Disney, um, while I can talk about it, and if I see it, I can say, hey, I worked on that, did that, whatever. But the majority of that stuff is not supposed to be mine to use for like an online portfolio. Which is not the best, uh, not the best arrangement, but it is what it is. And when I signed the papers, the legal papers, stating that you know I won't show it online, then I have to respect that, and I do. But like I said. If, if I happen to get a picture of, uh, in particular, Disney stuff that I worked on and take a photo of it and put it up on a blog, something like that, and say, hey, you know, I ink this, I design this, whatever, that's, that's all fair game. Unfortunately, I don't really try to track it down and do that. So, been a few things I've seen. That I've worked on and that I was able to um, show. It's been a while. For those of you interested in that type of stuff, um, I, it, back in 2015, I did a lot of stuff for Disney. Um, they, they redid this style guide for Pirates of the Caribbean from the old one drawn by, I believe it was Mark Davis. And I was the anchor on that. And it, it was penciled by an in-house artist. And they needed a, a look for the inking. And the creative director there gave me a few examples of what he had in mind. And we discussed it. And I then began to develop a look over a piece of artwork couple of times actually um, just trying to feel my way around uh, until I felt comfortable with a style that I thought um, would look you know would look good for the pirate stuff and that the art director would kind of see where I took his um, direction and played upon it and came up with a nice, nice looking style. And upon completion of that, did a lot of, I wound up actually doing a lot of dry brush um, work on it, which was a little uh, different than what I initially had turned in. But as I began to work on it, it just, it naturally 
uh, from the first piece that I submitted for them to approve. Uh, I won't say, I guess it, it, it evolved, you know, my, my style and that, that style guide, those, those pieces of art that were used for, you know, what they'll do is you just do like, um, different characters and stuff, and then they'll compose them in a scene. And this was traditional inking. This was not digital or vector inking, which I've also done. So, um, yeah, so I got into a lot of dry brush and uh, maybe a little bit of splatter and stuff too, if I recall, which, you know, I kind of brought the, well, a lot of times they, you know, I'm known out there by quite a few of the people. And uh, so when they need a comic book style, they'll contact me. It's been a while. I think they have a freelance uh, freeze going on uh, at Disney. So haven't had any work from them in quite a while. Last thing I did was... Uh, I don't even know if it was used. Um, it was some Guardians of the Galaxy, kind of a you know combination between Marvel. Uh, well, since Disney owns Marvel, but it was for a um, it was for a Guardians of the Galaxy ride, and I guess I can I, it it. It took over the Tower of Terror ride. And I don't know if that's still there because uh, I don't go to Disney that often or the this used to be the Disney Studios. I forget what they call it now, but anyway. The dry brush work, it was really kind of funny because um, when I did the pirates thing, I, I was thinking, you know, yeah, okay, the dry brush gives it, you know, a nice, uh, a nice feel. And then suddenly when I finished that project, I had two or three more creative directors. Um, I actually at, at, and I don't know if it's still valid, I could actually go to the um, offices there at Disney in Orlando, Kissimmee area. I had a pass that could get me in. So I could go in and drop work off and talk to people. Uh, I did a little bit of production work in-house. And while being there, chit-chatting with some of the people I knew, they they started to, you know, begin to realize I was the guy that, and I'm thankful that the uh, art director enjoyed the Pirates of the Caribbean stuff so much that he kind of spread it around um, because it came out of his office and it was like, you know, wow, you know, look Look at this nice work that the team did. And people began to ask, you know, hey, who who finished this for you? We like this. So during that same year, I did a, um, they, and they all wanted the similar, you know, can you do that, that style? You know, I, it was kind of funny. And I meant, you know, the dry brush type stuff. And yeah, yeah, we want that. What you did on the Pirates. So I did a couple of Monsters, Inc. Uh, T-shirt designs. And went very, um, very dry brush on those, actually. You know, the creative director told me, could I even go further? And I said, well, yeah. And so I, I mean, you could still read the artwork. So I didn't lose that. Um, and I did the uh, 
inking on the and this is I'll tell you this is how far ahead they work in 2014 four years ago I was working very early on before Halloween of 2014 even came out they already had that done they work like a year to a year and a half in advance on this stuff so very well uh, in advance in case they need to you know redo something or if something goes wrong anyway let me get this fatter brush out here to get these areas um, so did that and then did did the 2015 inking of the the Halloween um, art that was used on uh, t-shirts and mugs and um, plates uh, they made cloisonne pens of course those had to be re-inked um, by the person in charge uh, but same figure artwork that I had done so So yeah, the uh, doing one good style guide and being accessible, and then loving the style that I turned the pirates in. Really, um, <laughs> uh, really uh, paid off well that year because it garnished me. A lot of work from from Disney. And then they went into a a couple of freelance um, freezes. And the only time it came out was mm, like I said, I think it's still in there, but at one point I was contacted for a Marvel uh, marathon inking for their t-shirt and other goods and later that year I believe it was 2015 the um, Guardians thing which I say I, I have no idea if anything ever became of that I didn't keep up with it. I just did the work and it was going to be for the um, characters were going to be used on kind of the front, the facade of the building. So, Which would be cool to see if, if they were used. Um, I did that once before when they had the Mission to Mars ride. Excuse me. Um, they hired me to ink the uh, the fabulous five, as they call them, Donald. <laughs> I don't know why I, st I started with Donald. I guess so I wouldn't forget him. Uh, Donald, Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Goofy, and Daisy, and they were all in their um, like spacesuits. And since these guys um, work mostly in kind of a animated coloring book line, they wanted me to come in and kind of give it a, uh, well, I had done some stuff. And it, it all kind of like, you know, once you do something and they like it, they they will, if they want it again, usually wind up contacting you and referring to the job you did and ask, hey, could you do it on this one? So it was basically like it was a split lighting type of thing. Uh, I, I kind of, when I when I did the work, I, I had my Wally Wood uh, reference out. Because he always did great split lighting with the, the light going down the middle of a figure and having a split light source. That's split lighting. 
so yeah uh, and then I did a lot of vector inking for them um, I did almost got to finish about a hundred figures for a Disney Star Wars mashup where they the pencil artist, the character artist in house drew the Disney characters in Star Wars outfits and I did the vector inking. The only one I didn't get to finish and I had the basic inking done, but um, I was actually heading out to a convention like the day before I was going to leave. The art director finally said, and they were having the, the, the decision was, should Goofy wear boxer shorts as they always have him as Darth Vader, I guess, since he's the tallest. Um but should Goofy, should Goofy have uh, Darth, uh, as Darth Vader, should he be wearing boxer shorts? Or, or not? So that was, you know, I mean, he was going to be covered. It was just, they, they had boxer shorts with the little uh, Mickey Mouse. Um, you know, circle and two other ovals to make the ears kind of like a pattern on these boxing shorts that he'd be wearing. So I had told the art director I had them started, but I couldn't finish them because I was leaving for a convention. And I did actually get paid um, for the work I'd done because it helped them finish uh, they didn't have to go through and, and do the base inking on all the characters. All they had to do was go in and finish it. And that stuff was probably used quite a bit. I've never really looked for it, but I mean, it's probably, it is probably still being used, I would imagine, because that's why they had so many figures um, done. So that they could have a library of it to use. So it wouldn't surprise me if um, if someday I see uh, see some of that out there in uh, Disney World or Disneyland on Star Wars products. Got a rash of emails coming in. Twelve. Here they come. I guess they figure um, people are out to lunch, at least here on the East Coast. Um, being noon, a little bit afternoon. And when they get back to their desk, they'll have uh, they'll have email. All right, so. Looking good. I think the last thing I need to do here is put my autograph on it next to Mr. Zex. Nice. Chunky. I like chunky blacks. Look at that. Really solid. Yeah. All right, so put my signature on it, call it done, grab a bite to eat, come back, do some more work, and pick up my son, Jacob, 
out of kindergarten. He gets out at 320, so I'll pick him up, hang out with the little guy for a while, see what he's up to, and then get back to work until dinner time, which for me varies. So James, if you're watching this, you pretty much got to see your entire piece inked live. And that's pretty cool. Because a lot of people don't. But maybe we're going to have to start doing it more often. For those of you out there who are getting a piece from me and would like to see it done. Let the camera focus. Come on, camera. You were doing your thing. Well, the signatures will just have to stay off. And there we have it. Um, hey, if you're watching and you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to the channel. Please like this video. Um, if you have any suggestions to help the channel, Please feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day.